deaths linked to the deaths of thousands of dogs across the US, UK, Canada and Australia every single day. Many world famous doctors of veterinary medicine and published dog care experts universally agree any dog that eats commercial dog food is at a much higher risk of dying prematurely and by the time symptoms are noticeable it's often too late to prevent an agonizing death except by lethal injection. See their shocking research supported warnings and solutions in this presentation. Also in this report I show you a simple solution proven to increase the lifespan of your dog by up to 134 percent and save you up to ten thousand dollars over the lifetime of your dog. If you don't make drastic but simple changes to the way you feed your dog beginning today your dog is at an alarmingly high risk of suffering an early and painful death. I sometimes get accused of using scare tactics but have you ever had a dog that died of cancer or some other disease? If not, I'm sure you know several people that have. Is that normal? Yes, nowadays it is normal, but that's not the right question. The right question is, is that natural? The answer to that question is no, and science has proven it. A study called Theories of Aging published in the Veterinary Clinics of North America Small Animal Practice Scientific Journal proved the potential lifespan of your dog is 27 years. My dog only made it to four. He was incredibly happy, exercised daily and very healthy. Or so I thought. But I later discovered I had poisoned him because I believed the lies told to me by the dog food companies I bought his food from. The very same companies you buy from and those same lies are still told to you every single day. My dog is gone. Yet it's not too late for you no matter what age your dog is. But only if you discover what you must do and act now. The clock started ticking long before you arrived at this page, so I beg you, pay close attention. Right now, I'm going to expose why the commercial dog food you trust is shamefully killing your dog, and step by step, what you must do to prevent it. My team has researched commercially available dog food thoroughly, and very few brands are worthy of your dog. Well known does not equal healthy. The widespread disease and death of dogs from nutritionally inadequate and poison laden commercial dog food is no secret in the world of vets and dog experts. Leading dog author Anne Martin says most commercial pet foods are garbage. World famous doctor of veterinary medicine Dr. Alfred Pletchner says long term effects of a commercial diet is dogs become biochemical cripples with no resistance to disease. And author Deborah Lynn Dad says it is illegal to label a dog food as healthy and complete even when lacking in close to 30 essential nutrients. So if you love your dog, drop everything, bolt the door and take the phone off the hook because this story is the wake up call that saves the life of your own beloved canine. I pray you have not seen the following symptoms in your dog because the death of your dog looks like this. Slowly, I began to notice something unusual about my dog Noble. He didn't have the same bounce to his step that he was famous for. At times, he even seemed reluctant to go for our regular exercise, which was always the highlight of his day. I dismissed it as him feeling a bit off or maybe a touch of laziness, but it didn't pass. In fact, he got worse and then worse still. I eventually took him to the local vet and was told his kidneys were failing. Soon, he would be dead. Dead, as in gone, forever. But he's so young, so strong, so happy. I don't understand. How could this be right? Devastated, with tears welled in my eyes, I choked back the urge to cry and listened for my vet's response. Andrew, I'm sorry to tell you, but Noble is dying. The preservatives found in the commercial dog food you feed him have destroyed his kidneys. He'll be dead in three weeks, maybe four, and it's too late to prevent it. You see... The major dog food companies fill their processed food with preservatives to increase its shelf life and maximize their profits. They know these preservatives kill millions of pets every single year, but without them, their profits would not be as large, and that's the bottom line. Andrew, Noble is dying for the sake of fattening company profits. I later discovered through my own research, preservatives are not the only reason dog food kills dogs. More on that soon. You'll be outraged.